Well, what's up everybody, it's Jet Desert Fox back with another straight out of the box. Today we're not unboxing a gun, but we've got a target system. This is the Gunpower SMT 24 inch touchscreen target system. So inside this is a screen with a stand that we can set up and we can shoot it. So think of it as a television that you shoot and it doesn't break. Joining me today for this unboxing is gonna be my lovely wife, Unicorn Leah. And if you wanna see some behind the scenes or more vlog videos of us and today, uh, head over to her channel and check out those videos. All right, are you ready to open this thing up and start shooting? Yes. All right, let's do it. This target system is not super duper new. We saw this at SHOT Show 2020 earlier this year, and Lee and I got a chance to shoot it at the evic.com booth. It was a lot of fun, and I had requested one for myself, and after, how many months has it been now? After eight months, I finally got it. <laughs> Better late than never. This must be the stand. This, yeah, I mean, it looks, looks like a stand. Like. Looks like we might need a tool to uh, adjust it. But we'll get into that in a little bit. So here's the screen, and in front of it, you can see this uh, film or membrane. This is a BB resistant membrane. The screen is also BB resistant. Here's what I'm most excited to see, the arcade, the arcade box. So this is essentially how you control the target system. It's got sets of keys here and directional arrows and you basically just use the arrows and then the keys to input whatever target uh, pro or to shoot whatever targets you want. Oh, this is all the extra stuff for the arcade box. Oh, it patches! So you get <laughs> USB cable, power cables, this gun power patch. Look how cute! And a this pen. pen. Well, that pen's kind of cool. Oh, there's something else in that little box too. Oh, here we go. They've got tools and nuts and bolts. All right, neat. It does come with the tool. Nice. Okay, let's move some of the stuff out of the way and start to assemble this. You can see here all the plugins, on off switch, USB, LAN. Now there, there's a LAN cable here and all these USBs because you can hook up multiple screens to one uh, to a computer and then have multiple screens running as like a giant target array. Ooh, fun. So here's the bracket. You're just gonna line it up with this thing or line it up with these holes and then screw it in. Ah, <laughs> It's a BBB screen, and we're gonna shoot it. This could probably easily be done with one person, but having another set of hands doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, this didn't even show us how to put the other stuff on. We didn't even put on the safety wings or the BB catcher plate. No, we still have to put stuff together. Okay, we're not quite, quite done yet. I'm just ready to shoot. Yeah, me too. Does it say how to mount the BB tray? Um, install it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, let's take these safety wings yeah, off for a second. Yeah, it to do the wings after the tray. Okay. Okay, show me that photo again. So it just hooks into here. Ooh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, it's neat. Really easy, just like wow. a flat wall system. I didn't notice this BB tray thing yeah, I didn't uh, either. at SHOT Show or any of the other times that we've shot this gun power screen. Yeah, I don't remember it having... Safety wings either. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was a, a later addition. That's neat though. All right, cool. Okay, so let's plug it in. Just getting everything assembled took about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how diligently you're working. We've now got the arcade box and the monitor plugged in, so we're gonna turn it on for the first time. Hit the manual on switch back here. Definitely don't do any of this. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Okay, so the red button. These guys aren't even wearing 
wearing an eye pro. Whoa. The red button should be the like agree or enter key. There you go. Now it gives an audible cue when you start moving stuff around on the arcade box. So, bing, bing, bing. So as you can see, we've got lots and lots of different modes to choose from. We got zeroing in, training, uh, and then like you can see here. Oops. You can see here it says multi, that means, I'm pretty sure that means two people can play this game. Uh, I'm really interested in the, the, the target tree one for the two of us. And again, to navigate this, you just use the arcade box. Then you just go up, up until you find the thing you want, then hit the red button, and now you're ready to shoot. Essentially the way this works is you've got the membrane and the screen itself. The membrane is going to catch the BB and then the impact will be registered on the screen, so. Oh. It's gotta be real impact. Yeah, you, you gotta hit this thing pretty hard, like. See, like doing this, nothing, like an actual. God. <laughs> gotta really shoot it, I guess. Yeah, but essentially that's how it works. Now the nice thing about the arcade box too is you don't have to just hold this thing what you could do is set this on the ground and then just step on the buttons to activate it so that way you can keep the gun, keep your gun in your hands. Okay, let's set it up outside and start shooting. I've used some blackout curtains to wrap around our little patio area, just so that way there's no stray BBs flying around. Although there shouldn't be since we've got the screen which is slightly angled and then this kind of this membrane absorbs hit, so it should just hit, get absorbed by the membrane, and then the BBs just fall into the BB catch, catch tray. So in the manual, it says to just use point two O's, but we don't have any two O's, unfortunately. So we're gonna just test the durability of this thing. What do you think? Classic jet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sure you guys want to know if it's durable too. For 500 bucks, I think it could take 0.5 more of a gram. Come on, gunpower. We'll find out. Let's find out. Stand by. Oh, ran out of BBs. Oh no. <laughs> All right, there's my time though. 20.7. Uh, it looks like most of the BBs got caught in the BB tray. There were a couple strays that uh, bounced off and kind of hit the floor. So um, I would suggest probably using this in a garage or somewhere where you're gonna easily be able to pick up stray BBs. Also, us being like me being like super close probably didn't help either. I thought it was like I'm yeah. like five feet away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah's turn to shoot now. We've got the arcade box down on the ground. She can just use her feet to select the target mode she wants. I want to do criminal. Ready. I don't get it. Oh. Oh. It's, I get it. You get points based. Man, I thought that was going to be a lot more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it was just shooting a target. I was wondering why you're so... <laughs> I thought it was like, remember the one we played where you went through like the thing? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to play That's that one? That's what I thought I was doing. Okay, okay. Basically, you just have to go through all the modes to see which one is which. But I mean, so far, it's been really fun. This whole system, the, the monitor, the stand, the arcade box, all retails for about $500 on evic.com. Quite honestly, I think that's a pretty darn good uh, price point for all of this, you know, yeah. like 500, like we've seen other airsoft products that are about $500. They're all guns yeah. and they don't really give you as much entertainment per se as this. You could just set this up in your house, your backyard, you know, somewhere where you're not worried about BBs flying all over the place and just 
shoot around and what's great too is you can have your friends come over and they can shoot around if you've got a bunch of guns you guys can play against one another so let's continue to go through all of the modes uh, but so far it's pretty dang good here we go Much better. Ten hits, zero misses. Time of 5.15. Woo! Please hold your applause, everyone, <laughs> please. And that was training one. Let's do training two. Training two looks really fun, too. Oh, I think this is the one that we've been doing. Training two? Yeah. Stand by. That's the demo that we've done at like the Battle Lab opening at SHOT Show. So that that one's fun. Okay, so on the membrane, you can see that there's a little scuff, scuffing going on. But I mean, just rubbing it with my finger, it makes it go away. Obviously over time, that'll kind of build up so you'll need to clean this. And the BB tray is working as intended. However, we still do have some stray BBs all over the place. So. It's not 100% that the BBs are all going to get caught in the tray. There will be a little bit of ricocheting and a little bit of cleanup depending on where you are using this thing. The arcade box hasn't really doesn't really have much wear and tear from me stepping on it, which is great. There is a hole in the back here. <laughs> so you can mount this to a tripod in case you don't want to just put it on the ground. And the USB cord that it comes with is very, 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 very long, so you can get some distance out of this. Now it's time to test the monitor with an AEG. Got an Elite Force MP5 SD. Let's retry Training 2. Okay, as for timing and accuracy, that was pretty terrible, but the membrane is holding up. As you can see, you know, I'm standing at a fairly close distance. I shot a, shot a crap ton of this screen because of all the misses. Still functioning just as well. All right, so it's a lot darker out now. It's the late evening time. You can see the screen a lot better and we can go further back and position the camera. More, uh, we can also position the camera better as well to show you guys more of what's going on on the screen. I've got some Tracer BBs now and my SEMA AK. So we're gonna be shooting Tracer BBs at the target system. Not bad, not bad. Cool, 13.88, not bad. It's really fun with the tracer uh, BBs. You can, you know, just just being able to see where the BBs are going and it just looks cool on camera. This aiming one was pretty good too, but we didn't do command, command one, did we? No. All right, let's try command one. This one's really neat. It's very challenging. You've got time. You've got shapes uh, along with numbers and time working against you. Three, zero, two. All right, not bad on that one. Not bad. Final thoughts on the Gunpower 24-inch SMT or Smart Monitor Target. I really liked that it was very simple to set up. It took between 15 to 20 minutes to get the thing all put together, plugged in and ready to go. We did have a little bit of a mix up with the safety wings and the BB catch, but I mean, that lasted about a minute of confusion. Really, it wasn't that big of a deal. And then we ultimately just ended up figuring it out. 
Using the SMT is very simple, especially with the arcade box. The button layout is very simple, simply up or down, left or right, and the uh, whatever your selection is, is highlighted and blinks on the screen, and then hit, simply hit the red button to accept. There are a lot of fun game modes, and there's a couple that eh, <laughs> need a little bit of work. Uh, the most fun game modes that Lee and I tried out were Command 1. Command 1, the flip-flop was okay. Uh, obviously my favorite was Training 2. Uh, some of the other useless ones were the Criminal Target and the Hostage. I think they probably could have used a more dynamic target for that instead of just this you know, guy with a gun pointed at you just standing there. Um, you know, having, having a screen gives you more possibilities to do more things, especially with moving targets. And I think that's something that they could have capitalized on more, but maybe they'll come out with some updated software and be able, and maybe we'll get moving targets on this screen in the near future. It'd be really cool. It's nice that they include this very long USB cord. If you wanted to get an even longer one, I'm sure you could find one on eBay. It's just a very simple USB connector and that will allow you to stand further back from the tar from the target screen and work on accuracy at a longer range. Okay, let's talk about price point. So as I mentioned earlier, this entire setup, the monitor, the arcade box and the stand all retail for about $500 on evic.com. This is pretty darn good considering a lot of new guns are coming out at the $500 and upward price point. When we think about airsoft, we think about spending lots of money on guns and not so much other accessories. This to me is a reasonably affordable target system, especially for what it is. It's a, it's a computer screen essentially that you can just put around your house or garage or anywhere you, you wanna take it. All you have to do is just plug it in. You know, you could take this to a friend's house for a party. You could take it, you know, if you're a field, you could have this plugged in in a small room and let people test guns. It's got a lot of versatility to it, which to me is a lot of value. Downsides to the target system, you could probably play these games out forever and maybe they'll get kind of boring. Hopefully Gunpower comes out with an update or something or a way that you can add more games or more targets or scenarios to your existing system. The addition of the BB plate was nice. However, at certain, at a closer distance, you're still gonna get ricochets that don't fall straight into the tray. So there is a little bit of cleanup. If you are gonna use this thing in your house, be prepared to uh, be vacuuming BBs and possibly finding BBs for the next week. Overall, I'm very happy with how this target system works. Again, I think it is a great buy. This is something really fun to have at your house if you're an avid airsoft enthusiast. That's gonna wrap up this straight out of the box. And as always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. Not for a while though, I'm gonna be tied up shooting at this thing for a while. <laughs>